Welcome back, race fans, to another week of Season Gamers Historic Trans Am Racing. Uh, this is the final week, and we are at VIR, and uh, I don't know if everybody remembers what happened last year, but it was a bit of a shit show. Shit show. Yes, I said shit show. Uh, as we are soon going to be loading up the starting grid. Any time now? Waiting. Ah, there we go. Uh, on pole is Team Reedy 48. Uh, second, Lord Severius. Third, Hoptimizer. Good start for uh, starting position for Hoptimizer. Wagonator starting fourth. Some yellow car starting fifth. Old Geller. Uh, Sedlum starting sixth. Fusion 14th, all the way up to seventh. Doubled his number, wow. Uh, Diablo starting 8th. 4KM T-Bird starting 9th. Back in 10th is Trashman. Uh, the winner of last race, Flight starting 11th. Rob Love Cars 1 starting 12th. Racerman 13th. Starting 14th is Schleprock. 15th, Sierra XR8. Strife, 67, started 16th. Wildman CB, 17th. Crafty Budman, uh, all the way back in 18th. And Patriot, starting 19th. Uh, so yes, we are at VRR. Uh, Team Reedy is on pole in 3-2-1 play. As they head down towards the start finish line on this very twisty, narrow, twisty, narrow track. And the race is off, or race is underway, as that is a wacky camera angle. I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, whoa, and there is some bumping going into turn one at uh, double apex, turn one, turn two. I, 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 I have a track map up. Let's look at the track map. Yes. Horseshoe. Turn one, two. That's a newcomer to the series, Lord Severius. Uh, he's going to be Sid Vicious all night because I won't be able to get Severius. He just said it. Severius. Shit, I did. Technicalities. <laughs> all right. Severius. Lord Severius. Still running second. High, second. Optimizer uh, running third. That is Wagonator, I believe, back and forth. Drink for tonight. Uh, same as last week. I know it's. Uh, what are the odds of these, you know, broadcasts happening and having the exact same drink from week to week? It was almost like we just, you know, did the last broadcast like 20 minutes ago or something. Weird. I was going to comment. It was pretty impressive that you could remember last week's winner flight in in the starting grid. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you have. I, uh, I don't know if I like where this is going. Uh, memory. Thank you. I do. Remarkable. Uh, Severius uh, looking up the inside, or looking, closing the gap on Team Reedy. There, that's what I was trying to say. Haha. <laughs> As they make their way through some twisty bits, the roller coaster section. And down into Hogpen, turn 17 and 17A. 17 As they find their way back onto the front straight. Do you finish another lap? This uh, is a fun track when you get it right, but it is difficult. Very technical. Figure we should go back and look at some other battles? I was thinking maybe. You got anything good for me? Uh, nope. I'll let you pick tonight. Zedlum, since he wasn't at last week's race. See, again, that sharp, sharp mind and memory in action. Yeah. Uh, all the way up in sixth place. That's that's a very strong uh, running so far for Sedlum. That uh, Richard Petty-esque. It is kind of Petty-esque, isn't it? Yes. And it's Chrysler as well, which was very Petty-esque. I've got nothing. Yep. I'm right with you. 
<laughs> I'm a little burnt out after the... After, yeah, after last week's... Oh, uh, and there's some coming together. I mean, yes, it's been a week uh, since the last broadcast, but it, it took so much out of us that it, we after a week we still have not recovered from Let's that broadcast. Back. Let's go back to Trashman and 8. Uh, as I remember from last week, purely because of my great memory, these two were having a good fight at Sonoma as well. Yes, and uh, that is Forkam trying to get into the action as well. He wants himself a little piece of the action. Speaking of action, I get a piece of... I won't say it. <laughs> I won't say it. I'm too nice. But 4Cam does make that pass, as I uh, probably confuse Yan San San. Well, I don't understand why you would start being nice now, and also, it's not like you can make the broadcast any worse, so you should say whatever you're going to say. <laughs> nope. Uh, it was in regards to a fan, that's all I need to say. Uh, Alright. And not the, uh, hey, I'm a fan of you guys. No, the actual blowing fan. Oh. You know yeah, where I was don't, going. Don't, don't go there. <laughs> That's, <laughs> that's not good for anyone involved. Uh, yes. Good times. Uh, I feel like this is stretched out a little bit, so let's uh, let's go back to Fusion, who has dropped down to 12th from his 7th uh, uh, start, 7th uh, position on the starting grid. Looks like, like uh, he's struggling a little bit. Uh, Car is just kind of pushing. Don't think he's getting the grip that he maybe had during qualifying. Maybe he. Maybe this is one of those tracks where the harder you push, the further back you're gonna go. You, you gotta be smooth. It's all about the flow. Go with the flow. Uh, there's Lep Rock, I believe, uh, behind him as well. Uh, mm -hmm. well. Stripes there as well. So, yeah, he's not too far behind. Ooh. Little contact. Dust sparks fly. Between uh, Stripe and Fusion. <laughs> Sparks have flown. <laughs> this be it? I don't know. You know what this... Uh, it's a shame that they've actually modeled that out, haven't they? The oak tree? tree? Yeah. They've taken the... Uh, the poor old oak tree is finally uh, succumbed to age uh, a couple of years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, it's been... At least three years now, maybe more. Yeah. It was uh, iconic. Yeah. Unfortunately, Forza has deemed it necessary to pretend it never was and just completely remove it. Yeah, I would have left it in. Just as an homage to the old oak. Let's go back to uh, 15th with Sierra. Good news, uh, we have both races. Oh, that is one hell of a run uh, Sarah had on, uh, that was Stripe, I believe? Yeah, it looked like Stripe had some problems coming up. But... Uh, Lockup. Yeah. Oh. I cut Probably. to it just as he was passing, so. Well, let's go with your story then. It was just a hell of a run. Yeah, like, perfect line coming out of there. That Ford muscle. I mean, the top end that that uh, Mustang, 65 Mustang puts out. It's no wonder. Well known for being yes. uh, very fast and straight line. Yes. Great top speed. Top end is just amazing on that. Mm. The infamous uh, turn 4, 5, A, and 6, and 6, A corners that uh, were the highlight reel of last Ooh. year's broadcast. Uh, Strife getting past. <laughs> that is not an easy place to make a pass. No, and that and looked it, aggressive and last that, minute. Oh, oh. but uh, that corner, corner uh, 10 south bend is a very tricky one. And if you're carrying too much speed, you do exactly what Strife did. Trust He's me, lucky I know. He didn't go farther out in the grass. Cheers. Uh.
probably should have uh, given my wife some advance warning that uh, Appa will be coming a bit drunk tonight. <laughs> Whoa, and... Uh, Whoa, who is that? Light, and was that Trash Man? Wagonator. Uh, Wagonator. Wagoner and, and Flight uh, coming together there. And you want to go back and look at Wagonator, see what kind of damage he's got? That yeah. looks like a hard hit. Oh, of course, we've got the uh, for cam right now. Well, as we can see, the top of the hood looks pretty good. Thanks for that, turn 10. And yeah, can't tell anything from that view. Yeah, it looks okay, actually. Yeah, it must have been just a little bit of lag. Or, um... Stupid net code. Uh, well, they did drop back many spots. So something happened. I thought it was, uh... Was it the other way around? Uh, flight getting into the back of Wagonator? Maybe. Because if you look at their rear bumper of Wagonator in the front end of Flight... They kind of match up, don't they? A little wrinkle. Maybe a little. I'm no CSI Miami, but things gotta line up. Oh, a little two-wheel action from Flight. CSI Canada. Huh? CSI Canada. <laughs> uh, no comment. <clears throat> <laughs> He already knows too much. Uh, this I've, is not a bad fight, actually. I'm going to do a rundown anyway while we're watching this. Uh, currently, or currently still out in front, Team Reedy. Uh, followed by Lord Severius. Hopmiser, third. Yant San San, up to fourth. Diablo, fifth. Morcam D Bird, sixth. Sedlum currently running 7th, and that is Crafty Budman. Crafty Budman taking the wrong way through that corner. 8th uh, Trash Man, ninth Fusion 14, and currently 10th, uh, Schlepp Rock. Who are we on? Wagonator? There we go. Wagonator. You want to uh, go up and... Check on our leader to see if Reedy's got a fight. Okay. Oh, yeah. He is leading the race after all. And he's all no. by himself. All yeah. by himself. He's getting a couple seconds of fame and... Well, I'll throw up the badge. badge. Thing I'll give him his 30 seconds of fame. Look uh, at me, I'm winning the race all the way in front by myself. Yeah, nobody likes to show off. Shakes his fist. All right. Uh, Lord Severius. Hey, he's alone. Hoptimizer's behind him. We can skip old Yeller. Diablo, maybe? Fifth? Diablo in fifth. I feel like Diablo gets a lot of air time for somebody that runs out in front most of the time. Well, he's not out front, but he is alone. He is very alone. And, and his so car is remarkably in one piece. That's probably why he's back in fifth. He doesn't he's have the damage. damage real fast. Yeah. Seems like every time we see him in, uh, when he's out front, his car, like Sonoma, for example, he was battling out front and the car <laughs> was just a write-off. <laughs> no insurance company would ever touch that one. Let's go to Schlepprock in tenth. Lep Rocket is currently running 10th. And he is all over the back of Trash Man. Uh, so, what lap are we on? Uh, I think 102. Lap 102. Okay, good. So we only got 508 to go. Marathon broadcast. That was reasonable. I've got my big pot of rum on the go. 
You know, it would be nice if turn 10 allows the saving replays more than like 20 minutes-ish, and we could go back to our full-length Trans Am races. Yes, that would be lovely. So, if you're listening, turn 10, as I know you watch all my broadcasts oh, yeah, religiously. Yeah. As they should. Yes. Uh, along with those new camera angles, uh, which Yansen San and I have surmised, uh, this is just pure speculation and rumor that the uh, it's going to be like right in the window and it's going to pan around looking at the driver. And the interior, showing off how pretty the interior is, missing and, all the action on track. And uh, it will there'll be another one that focuses purely on the car emblem so if it's for example this mustang it will be like a real super close-up of the horse on the front of the nose and it will pan past it just a wild guess pure speculation but you know, we'll see i think we were talking about that last week uh the upcoming forza 7 and uh all the Lamb video shots that we've seen recently. Yeah, it's, it's oh, is that, I think that's, that's Rob. That <laughs> looks like Grass. Rob of <laughs> Cars uh, parked the car and is walking home. Rob did not love that specific car. He has given or up. Possibly the corner. Rob, Rob did not love the corner. <laughs> uh, let's go find a fight. Um, Maybe Rob seen. had a fight with the corner. Aha. Uh, -huh. uh Crafty Budman in third team. We've seen a lot of him. He's been popping back and forth uh, in that back of the field uh, all race. Seems like he's been kind of yo-yoing around. And he is all alone. Very alone. How does it feel to be so alone? I know. <laughs> All right, let's let's switch before we have to hear Rudy cry some more. <laughs> Elvis, uh, Elvis, Racer Man, fifteenth. Racer Man hasn't gotten any action. And nor will he. Did it, did it. <laughs> and he is uh, all alone. There's got to be a fight on this track somewhere. Well, well, we're here. He'll get his silly. You know what? He doesn't have a silly little badge. Well, never mind. For some reason, I did not make a one. Could it be that I'm incompetent? Yeah. You know who we uh, didn't see last race? 17th. Patriot. Give him his 30 seconds of fame, even though he is also by himself. Very unusual from the Mesa race, actually. Not sure. Yeah, that. What happened to Sonoma? That could be the only one that he has missed. Uh, maybe, maybe he missed two. He might have missed the second race or something. I have popped up the Wagonator, who is behind Schlepprock. Not super close, but it's. Race? Actually, uh, I, I've gone through the entire field, and that's the only one that's worth watching. Sedlum's not too far behind. Uh, or Fusion's not too far behind. Sedlum, is it? Oh yeah, yeah. That's actually that's that's. Oh, there we the go. Fight. Ah, we got a fight on our hands, and he gave him a left <laughs> right into the rear. I could use a Jingles quote there, but I won't. Uh, whoa, and there goes that fight uh, into the grass, unfortunately. As Fusion... Uh, he definitely have problems uh, overdriving that car on this track. It's also possible that... Is it just me or is things kind of driving a little slow here? Could this be the end of the race? Uh, it could. 100%. Sedlum is closing fast on Vorcam and yep. is way past Vorcam, so I'm guessing that this is 
Possibly the end of the race. Yeah, it's still showing uh, 4 cam as ahead of Sedlum. So pretty sure this is the end of the race. Uh, so we'll go through the final results for this race. Team Reedy finishing out in front. Uh, Lord's various second, Hopmeiser third, Jansen Sand fourth. Diablo fifth, 4 cam T-Bird sixth, Sedlum seventh, Fusion 14th, eighth, Trashman ninth. Schleprock 10th, Wagonator 11th, Sierra XR8 12th, Crafty Bud Man 13th, Wild Man CB 14th, 15th was Racer Man 16th, RR Flight 602, 17th Patriot, 18th Strife, 19th Rob Love Cars, and Springa with a DNS. Um, thoughts on that race? None. Zero thoughts. Thank you. Uh, with that, we will head on over to race two. We'll be right back with that. And we're back. Uh, going to start the replay in three, two, one, go. Uh, we are on board with Optimizer watching the start of race two. Uh, Team Reedy, of course, out in front. Uh, Lord Sid Vicious in the second. Various. Various. As they head down on into turn one. For the first go, oh, and again, there's bumping. Mark's flying, Ruben's racing, etc., etc. There is a distinct possibility that I may have been muted for race one. We'll find out. <laughs> <coughs> if it's the case, it'll be interesting. Uh, may have to rebroadcast that one, and I know Yan San San will probably kill me. Uh, won't be able to do it tonight next week there's no way it could be worse than the time we had to do the replay what five times oh now you're just over exaggerating Come on. Oh, all right uh optimizer still holding on to third uh don't want to pause it we want to go to, to that yellow car we didn't see that yellow car all last really? race going to that yellow car because that yellow car is all over wagonator oh. and has fallen back Sponsored by Earl's. Earl. Earl. He, he does have a bit of a run. Not gonna, no. Nothing. You got nothing. I think uh, that yellow car is just a little scared to uh, try and pass. I think he's playing it safe. The yellow car actually, the. I was surprised the 302 just does not have the ponies to pass people in a straight line. It's a great all-around car. I had a lot of fun driving it, but it doesn't have a lot of get up and go. Seems to be a problem with the Ford. Well, the 65's got all kinds of get up and go, but that one's really tough to control. Uh, but really, hats off to uh, Schlepprock and Sierra for doing as well as they did this season. I was actually pleasantly surprised. There they go. Did. Right straight from the uh, racing director's mouth. As the racing Ooh, director lock up. locks up. Optimizer has closed in on uh, Severius. So might as well go up there. Uh, Severius getting a little wide, coming out of uh, that turn there. Everyone it was? I think it was four. Maybe? I don't have a fancy track backup like you do. Track map. Your grasp of the English language is amazing. Hey, I've heard you slip up as well tonight. Never. And last week. Last week's broadcast. See, it's all up in the memory. <laughs> that we definitely did do earlier. It's, it was definitely done last week. <laughs> Oh, it's a very Just like if you wide. hear race one with commentary from Elvis, we definitely didn't go through and redo it afterwards. It was done right the first time. <laughs> I so, so hope I don't I have do to rebroadcast. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> that race is so boring. Oh my god. You know what you should do is if there's no uh, commentary, just put the Benny Hill music over the entire thing, just nonstop. Uh, maybe Bra Bross needs to make a comeback for uh, 
Grace. Actually, yeah, put them both us. Happy little trees. Happy little there's, clouds. There's lots of happy trees, except for oak. Oak's not happy anymore. Oak's now a stump. As Bob would say, there's no mistakes. Any happy no. accidents. So, <laughs> being no audio. Is that, oh, is that so very soft? That is very off. There's not a lot of traction out there. Still holding on to that position. Optimizer looking up the inside, going into turn one. Side by, not side, he's falling <laughs> back and behind him. And I thought there was going to be something exciting there, but there wasn't. Uh, oh, Severius good. caught out in the grasso, and Optimizer gets second place. So let uh, skip to Optimizer go back to Diablo. Ah, uh, Diablo's. Diablo fight? You went too far back. Did I? Where am I going? I guess the yellow car. Yellow. Well, it's at the back I, was, of that pack. I was going to, but you. I figured you'd have been. I don't know where you go to the well, yellow they go car. to uh, Severus. I'm on the yellow car. Uh, yellow I just car. I figure for the uh, multiple of onboard shots, it's best to be at the back so you can see what's going on ahead. Yes. Love them some hood cam. Do they ever? Why? When that right there is clearly a better shot. I don't know. And this. Hood cam for the win. Well, we're about to find out, I think. Uh. Is it the straight? Maybe it's on the front straight. Let's go. It's on the front straight. Well, these aren't actually bad shots. <laughs> no, this is really good. I'm just so used to them. Like anytime there's a straight, it, it's, it's either a close-up pan or oh, there it is. That did it come eventually. Um, kind of a lot of squealing tires. Uh, nothing really happening. Uh, yellow cars falling back from Severus uh, slightly. So let's go back further into the pack to flight ninth. Is Flight battling with anybody, please? Yes, Flight is battling with Trash Man. Very nice. And uh, Warcam T-Bird ahead, I think? It does look like Warcam. Oh, there's Gratuitous Hoodshot. Well, I like how they made it so dynamic. It goes from the bumper cam, then jumps up to the hood cam. <laughs> it's like, all right, we got to switch things up. We've been on this bumper cam too long. <laughs> all right, to the hood cam. Oh, Trash Man going deep into turn one, uh, outbreaking himself, giving Flight all kinds of room to pull up alongside, and he is oh, out wide and light. into the grass. Doesn't take much. Yeah, I was worried about that uh, that happening on that corner because it is a very easy corner to lock up on and push wide. And unfortunately, he uh, snatched that, uh, snatched defeat from the jaws of victory on that battle. Well, with things getting spread out, shall we maybe pop back a little further? Why not? How about uh, how about Racer Man at 12? Actually, that looks like a good fight back there. Racer Man, that is true. Was that somebody just creamed the yes. tires? I, yes. There was a slight glimpse of it back there, and I wish we were back a little bit further because oh, that looked man. very violent. The tires popped up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is Rob Lovegar is right in front of him. Uh, Strife and Fusion, maybe Crafty behind? That does look like crafty and fusion yes and strife the last race of the, of the season and i'm finally getting to know the cars <laughs> just in just time, in time. <laughs> they were the best for last uh, that's where uh rob love cars had parked it previously in the previous race indeed Still not sure on what happened there. As we make our way to the bumper camp, now the hood camp. Mm. 
Uh, stay tuned for after this race. Uh, I know you've probably already turned the, the broadcast off by now. As you should. Uh, as you should. Uh, after this race, so we're going to do the draw, the random draw, the random prizes. That's right, Xbox Live gift cards. Anyone who showed up to uh, eighty percent of the races. And we got a, we got a, we got a good fair amount of people that did indeed show up to. 80% of the races. I've got them all here. In a stack. Waiting to be drawn. Uh, how many of those gift cards do we have? Uh, I think 47. <laughs> Wait, 47. No, no, no. There's two. There's two. Oh no, I heard 47. So everybody gets a gift card. Hooray! Hey, everybody. Yay. those who didn't show up for 80% because there was what, only 30-ish people that showed up at all? Mm, yeah, probably low 30s for the entire season. It's actually pretty normal for everyone, guys. As with any league, the uh, opening rounds are packed and it trails off. Still, though, uh, 19 cars for the final race of the season. Uh, nothing to scoff at. No, I'm, I'm very happy with the way it worked, turned out. I remember back in the older Forza days, uh, you know, just getting the eight people in was hard enough towards the end. That is correct. By the end of the season, a lot of the guys who had trouble making the mains figure, you know, why bother anymore? Because I really, you know, on a race night, we could have 30 plus people show up and only eight people made the main. That's a lot of people who. Well, we, we did organize B main, so at the time, so. Yeah, still. but still, that's what 16. Alright, we're going to do a rundown. Team Reedy uh, currently still out in front. Uh, Hopmiser running second. Wagonator third. Lord Severius. Fourth, Yan San San, fifth, Diablo, sixth, Horkan Deaver, seventh, Trashman, eighth, ninth is Flight, tenth, Sierra XR8, Racer Man, eleventh, Bob Love Cars, one, twelfth, Fusion, fourteenth, thirteenth, Strife, sixty seven, fourteenth, <laughs> Crafty Budman, fifteenth, Sedlum, sixteenth, Schleprock, back in seventeenth, Wildman's CB 18th and uh, last but certainly not least oh and that is Rob Love Cars in got together with somebody uh, Patriot 19th uh, who did he get tangled up with uh, Fusion uh, yeah I believe so we could either pop back and look at that or we could pop forward and the other fights ahead. Oh, uh, Sierra just gets mugged by Racer Man. Wow, that car's down top speed and he's running a lot of ballast. That still was a mugging though, but yeah, oh, really and was. into the back of Racer Man just uh, he did not like being passed, and that was the big F you to Racer Man for, for the pass. I, I can only assume that's what was going on. I don't know, maybe we should check under Racer Man's hood. Post race scrutineering, maybe he's cheating. Quite possible and probable. Or Quite neither. Probable. <laughs> uh, I'm who, trying to who are we going around. to? I, I don't really see a great fight ahead. Alright, we'll just call the race here. And we're on the final lap. And. <laughs> uh, uh, let's go back to. Um, how about Strife? Way ahead of you, Oriana. Kind of alone. Uh, Rob Love Cars, not too far behind. Uh, locking up big time. Uh, crafty Bud Man. How about we go uh, just one up to Fusion? He's chasing Sierra. After Sierra just got mugged. I wonder if Sierra's got uh, some damage or something. It seemed like he was holding his own at the beginning. He's 
fall backwards quickly. Uh, why don't you go to the team radio and uh, talk to the uh, race manager, team manager on the uh, wall? I thought you were the team manager. Oh no, that's uh, that's only I racing. Oh. Speaking of which, you had a good result this weekend, this past weekend. That's right, SRN Motorsports won in the GTE class at the 24 hour of Le Mans. We had a full lap on second place. Great Congrats. effort by the whole team, yeah. And there was how many on the team? Uh, five. Uh, we, had, uh, we had an extra driver step in when I had, a, I had to take off unexpectedly. So he filled in for one of my uh, two hour stints. It was I came diarrhea, back wasn't out. it? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you can say whatever you want, but that's not what it was. It was diarrhea. Yeah, <laughs> you heard it here shifts. first, guys. Really wanted to drive, but. Had to poop. Fusion just mugged Sierra as well. Gotta be. Uh, Got to be something wrong with Sierra's car. That's that, that's ridiculously slow on the yeah. street. Yeah, uh, he's got some damage. Um, how about we pop up to 4 km T-Bird in seventh? 4 km it is. And as soon as you give him his five seconds of fame, go back to flight in ninth because that's where the fight's at. Pretty close to trash there. This is the battle we saw last race as well. Good memory. I can't believe with everything that happened during the week you could remember that. Uh, last race one of VR is what I meant. Oh, oh. Was it, did, were they close on Sonoma? No. No, they weren't. <laughs> Trashman and Wagonator, they were mid pack. Oh, they were having the battle. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That is flight up the inside, or outside, I guess. It's inside. Outside. Some side. Upside. Alongside. Alongside. Ooh, I like that. Can I use that? <laughs> no, that's copyrighted. Side along. Pick up ready? Nope. It's just dumb. Not yours. Yeah, it's dumb, so it's Oh, yours. that is a si very sideways car. <laughs> That's got it. Or cam. So it's possibly the end of the race? That looked like a grab of the e brake. Uh, so we'll go down the final standings for race two. Team ready. Uh, held on to first. Uh, probably by a very large margin. I don't even think we went to them all race. Uh, Optimizer's second. Uh, well, yes, actually, he was seven seconds back on Team Reedy in second. Wagonator in third. Lord Severius uh, fourth. Yan San San fifth. Diablo sixth. 4K and T Bird uh, seventh. Flight eighth. Trashman 9th, Fusion 14 10th, Raceman was 11th, in 12th was Sierra XR8, finishing 13th was Rob Love Cars 1, uh, Strife 67 in 14th, Crafty Budman 15th, Sedlam 16th, 17th was Schlepprock, 18th Wildman, Patriot 19th, Springer with another DNS. Um... So I do have point standings, and these are the final point standings of the Season Gamers Historic Trans Am 2017 season. Drum roll, please. Oh, uh, brought to you by Snap-on. Uh, finishing on top. Fight for Her Diablo, 577. Dat Trash Man in second, 600, uh, 562. Wagonator, not too far back, with 523. And the rest of the names are scrolling by. Uh, and most importantly, down in 30th, Resident Elvis with 34. 
Definitely. Uh, again, big thank you to Snap On uh, for the wonderful hats and T-shirts. Uh, and now uh, we're going to do the. Uh, I'm going to pause it so I can get set up for the draw, the lucky Random draw. Random draw. Yeah. So we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Uh, I've got in honor of Daniel Ricardo's shoey with Patrick Stewart over the uh, this past weekend at the Canadian Grand Prix on the podium. Spoiler alert! Uh, I've got a shoe that I'm going to put the names in. Uh, I'm not going to drink from the shoe. No, uh, you're not feeling brave. No, I've no. I know where the shoe's been. <laughs> I played uh, football with these shoes, and yeah, oh, yeah. they're, they're oh. a, little, a little worse for wear, needless to say. Uh, so, first one going into the stinky shoe, Schlepprock. Thank you for showing up for 80% of the races. Pleasure to have you aboard, son. Uh, son? Son. And Flight 602 into the shoe and Patriot trust me that does spell Patriot with my handwriting Rob Love Cars 1 and Crafty Bud Man Wild Man CB and Sierra XR8. Team Reedy. Fusion 14. Strife 67. And Springer. 4 Cam T Bird. Season Gamers official painter. Optimizer. Racer Man. And last but not least, Demon Child. So we'll just mix those up uh, in the disgusting shoe. So we have two gift cards, uh, Xbox Live gift cards, uh, for those, somebody who is, some lucky person that has shown up to the 80% of the races, and the first one is uh, Crafty Budman, congratulations. Congrats. I feel like he won last time, didn't he? Possibly. It is random, trust me. Uh, I'll dig around a little bit more. And the next person, I got two here. Team Reedy. And I feel like he. <laughs> Interesting. Congratulations to <laughs> Crafty Budman and Team Reedy. I could be completely wrong, but because I am old and I've got terrible memory. Uh, especially, uh, special congratulations, of course, to the uh, the top three. Fight uh, for her Diablo taking the series championship. Dat Trashman in second. Dat Wagonator in third. Well, well done, done folks. Well done. Thank you. Um, thanks for... To everybody who partially watches this, at least, uh, I think uh, I was it something like people only watched like 10% of the actual full video of any of these on average. But hey, you just skipped. I mean, the only people who actually watch it from start to finish are probably your your mom and one of your coworkers. I think is probably yes, as as we discussed last week, right? Yeah, absolutely. Last week, not tonight. Um. Thanks to Yan San San for uh, sticking this out with me again. Painful as it might be. Very painful as it was for both of us. Uh, who knows what the future will bring, but uh, stay tuned. You never know what uh, 
what will tickle my fancy and what will show up on this stupid broadcast. Uh, as always, we'll leave uh, the promo video from our friends at Off Camber TV. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon. Maybe. Maybe.